Welcome to the show. I'm wearing a suit. You're wearing a suit. You look very dapper. Thank you. Uh, but I want to ask about this because you did a very non-suit activity recently. You went to a survival, what is it called? Survival training camp? Uh, yes. Okay. Uh, very, we, we, we did not wear suits. Yeah, I would uh, imagine. You're right. It was, it was a wilderness survival retreat. Okay. Uh, a weekend? Two days? A was, day? It was a three-day course where me and my friends learned how to survive in the wilderness without uh, the things that you normally have on hand. What brought this about as something you wanted to do? Um... Living in California, uh, <laughs> I realized I live very near where a lot of earthquakes could happen. There, there could be a big earthquake that yeah. could fall down, uh, lots of things. I guess I was dipping my toes into doomsday prepping. Okay, I got you. A little bit, if you will. Just I mean, a I, little toe dip. Yeah, and just dipping my toes. After the three in. days, do you feel better about uh, your family's chances? No. Okay. Um, <laughs> I am, I'm now actually uh, wilderness first aid certified. Oh, that's pretty that's good. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, a lot of people don't know this, but to be wilderness first aid certified, you're not actually really supposed to treat the person. You're just supposed to keep them alive. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> until somebody who actually knows something shows up. Um, so a lot of it's really just like, hey, I'm here. Uh, I'm here. I'm here for you. You know like, what I mean? Stay with me, that kind of yeah, thing? Stay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Stay with me and, and slapping yeah, them. Gotcha. Yeah. Don't you, don't you leave me. Yeah, don't you yeah. die on me, don't you son you of die. a bitch. Don't you die, oh, that's a good one. You yeah. son of a bitch, right. Yeah, that kind of thing. Until the chopper shows up, and then, <laughs> gotcha. and then you're like, I'm out of here. Wow. Uh, but yeah, no, yeah, I, I guess I just felt like I, I wanted to make sure that I knew how to do basic things that I, I yeah, yes. we got so comfortable in society. You know, we have running water, and I didn't realize, you know, I ask a lot of people, like, what's the first thing that'll kill you if you're lost in the wilderness and, and you're injured? And most people say, well, you'll, 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 um, you'll run out of water. So you'll be very, very thirsty and you'll die of um, whatever that's called when you die of not having enough yeah. water. <laughs> and uh, it's actually exposure. Just to, to the elements. To the elements. Yeah, so if you sleep on the ground and, you know, it's warm outside, if it gets cold at night, you'll die because the, the ground will freeze you to death. So you gotta build, a, you gotta build like a, a thing. And put, uh -huh. and put leaves in there. Wow. You know what I mean? and so the, but you'll die later of Lyme disease because there are ticks in the leaves. <laughs> but you'll buy yourself a couple days. You'll buy yourself a couple days. <laughs> and then a life of misery uh, suffering from Lyme disease. But yeah, in the meantime, you, you're alive. Uh, I think you and I are very similar because, uh, for very congratulations, uh, Always Sunny 12 seasons, which is uh, like no one does that. Uh, I've also uh, been working in TV for a while now, and do you think that you now officially, because I feel this way, I officially don't know how to do anything of value, like of real life value. Oh, I see. Yeah, you get comfortable, right? Yeah. Yeah, I think that's, I think that's true. Well, I, like, were you ever handy? Were you ever somebody could, who could fix something in your house? My, yeah, yes, absolutely, yeah. Okay. Like, I had to cut the grass, I had to trim the hedges, and I had to, you know, fix stuff around that. But I, my dad didn't teach me a ton of stuff, you know, even though he kind of knew how to do that stuff. I think he wanted to, like, I don't know, shelter us from it and not make us have to do that. I had to learn, when I was in theater school, I had to learn stagecraft. So I learned how to use some tools. And I would fix things in the house when they got broken. Um, you know, but yeah, you do, you get comfortable. After a while, you, you realize, like, oh, I don't want to do that. I'm going to hire somebody to yeah. do it. I, the most depressing thing in my life is my wife's uh, dad is uh, like a builder and her, her brother knows everything. And so when something breaks in our house, it's really emasculating because one of them shows up with a tool belt and is like, hey, yeah. what are you doing? I'm like, let me put down this Xbox controller and uh, <laughs> pretend to uh, see what you're seeing. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I can tell you how to fix chapped lips. <laughs> oh, yeah. But uh, everybody says that about you. <laughs> But I can't teach you how to fix a, you know, a, a, a light switch or yeah. something. I don't even, I, yeah, no, it's sad. You, you, you sort of forget to, I mean, you, you can, I think uh, to a certain degree we all suffer from this, but if you start to make a little bit of dough, you start to realize, oh, I'll pay a guy to do that. I'll pay a guy to do this. And I'm worried that I'm not going to teach my kids because I, I have two boys. Yeah. You know, and I, like I said, I used to cut the grass and all that. And I'm like, I don't want them cutting my grass because I don't want them messing up my grass. <laughs> You know, whereas, whereas, like, my dad was like, you're cutting the grass, yeah. dude, you know, and I'm like, Ugh. I also just worry about how li my dad knows a, a lot about everything. Yeah, like, and And now I just feel like because of the internet, anything my kid asks me, I'll be like, let's go over to the laptop. Yeah, the That's box a good of knowledge. Question. Yeah. Let's go to the box of this knowledge. This is where daddy put all his ideas. <laughs> yeah, take credit for it. Yeah, That's now we idea. can go find them. I built this uh, box of knowledge for you, son, so that when I pass on, it's like Superman and his dad. He's like the, the crystal thing. <laughs> right.